To date with all things tech? Of course you do! Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Hello and a huge good evening to you. I hope you are well and welcome to MMB Tech TV where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Ryan and right here on the show, we like to help you find those things that are either too expensive and get them at that really reduced rate or try and help you find some kind of bargains and stuff. So if this is your first time here, a huge, huge welcome to the show. So, of course, a bit of a change in our normal setup. Uh, we normally live stream on a Saturday. However, this week uh, it is, has to be a Friday, so I hope you're well. Uh, how are you all doing out there? Those of you in the chat box, let me know how are you all doing. How's your week been? We Here in the UK especially, we're still in isolation. We're still uh, locked in here. How about you, wherever you are? Are you still in isolation? What kind of things have you been doing during your week? Of course, let us know in the comments box below because here at MMB Tech TV, our live streams are only half an hour, 45 minutes of our chat from me to you just to see how you are and have a bit of a chat. But of course, we always come with a subject as well, which I will touch on in the next couple of minutes. So a good evening to you. Now there are a variety of ways in which you can get in touch with us and have your say on the show. Uh, you can, of course, get your questions in the chat box. You can contact us on any of our social media channels or uh, you can drop us an email as well. Uh, you can go to info at mmbtechtv.co.uk. So you can get loads of different ways in there and the loads of different ways. And you can now even get in touch with us if you've got a question during the week. We spoke about this in... Uh, I think the last two weeks live streams we've been talking about this uh, but there is now a section on our website which you can uh, if I show you you can now submit your questions already in there so you need to head over to the website mmbtechtv.co.uk when you get there the tabs across the top simply click on contact me and then it'll load up our page there. So you'll see the normal generic, that's if anyone wants to contact us regarding any other question. But when you get to the bottom, there is now a new section there saying wanna get involved in the live shows. So at that point there, you can put your question in, perhaps if you have a spur of the moment question or there's something that you want us to do on the show, then you can do that straight on our website there. So that's already there, ready and waiting for you. I promised you would do it. I promised you I did. We got there, I found some time uh, in our week because uh, probably like most of us in our lockdown here, I've got a two-year-old and I've got a six-year-old. So I'm trying to balance uh, homeschooling, fun, this as well, of course, you guys as well. Um, so I'm trying to balance it all. So it has took me a bit of time to get it done, but it's there and you can have your say in the show. So there are loads and loads of ways in which you can do it. So whatever you want to say, whatever you want to talk about, all you need to do is just get involved and have your say because this show is all about you. It is all about you. Uh, so of course, in every show, we do have a couple of moderators in the show. So if you are putting questions in the chat box, uh, you can, of course, uh, get them in there, have that conversation going. And tonight we have got two of them with us. We've got Gary uh, and we've got Sadiq uh, who are with us. They're both uh, with us every single week, which is always lovely to see. It's always lovely. Good old faithful. You two, aren't you? Good old faithful. Thanks for coming along. Uh, so if you have got questions, you can get them in there. And of course, throughout the show, uh, we will try and get to them as soon as we possibly can. So good luck, get them in, get all your questions in there, get them in there. Uh, so today's show was brought, um, actually was suggested by uh, somebody in last week's live stream. Uh, I can't remember how they contacted us, uh, whether it was in the chat, I think it was in the chat box. Um, last week's show, if you didn't see it, we will link it up here somewhere, we'll link it up. Uh, but we looked at five budget smartphones. So then someone came in and said, well, can you look at five budget 
tablet. So this is how this is how this show works. You ask us and we do it. That's how it works. Uh, so during the course of the week, I have had a bit of a look now with regards to tablets. Um, I only have a kind of I only ever go for either iPads or Samsungs, and I'll explain why during the course of the show. But um, you might be just now uh, you, to get. You no longer have to spend a thousand pounds plus uh, to get an iPad or to get this big end tablet. When if all you're watching is social media, watching content, you're doing a couple of little documents, nothing major. You don't need to pay those high end prices for those kind of products. So we've found tablets that can allow you to do those kind of day-to-day -day tasks which are great for gaming if you've got children and they want to use it to play games on um, if you're simply writing content creation you know you you doing word documents excel documents on their social media going on the web these will get you through those kind of tasks and the price points are all lower than 200 pounds so they're all lower than that 200 pound price point which is brilliant now I mentioned in last week's show you probably can pick some of these up now even cheaper if you get them reconditioned or you buy them through places like ebay or here in the uk we have a, a store called music magpie um you can go and visit there as well so there's loads of different places loads of different places uh, so our top five they're in no particular order so it's not like from one to the other now our first one uh, that i'm going to show you is the samsung galaxy tab a the 10.1 edition I am a huge, huge fan of Samsung tablets. I've had my Samsung Tab A for years, um, and it just, with all the updates it gets, it can still perform. It's got external uh, SD cards on there. It is the old USB types, uh, the old USB on there, but that's that's not really a problem. But it handles everything that you would need to throw. It as a tablet it can handle gaming it can handle handle tasks uh, we take it overseas to watch uh, tv programs on it with the kids and stuff you can plug it in and uh, using hdmi and it comes up on the telly you can cast with it, it is an all-round really really good tablet and as you can see from the video as well it's beautifully crafted it's got a huge huge screen and it's really really comfortable to use if you've had or used a samsung tablet before let us know your thoughts on it because uh, I've heard mixed thoughts. I think some people are, are like, no, I don't want Samsung tablets. But the things you can do with it now, and especially if you buy the newer range, so you would have to spend more than the £200 on top of that, um, you get Samsung DeX built into it, which is almost, it's just like a laptop built into uh, the tablet itself. So you get a bunch of features. And most importantly, it's a beautiful looking device as well. You can see it. The images are crisp and clear, really big display for, you know, consuming content. And it's also really portable as well. So if you are going to use it as almost like a laptop, then it is one of them that I would highly kind of recommend to you. I would highly recommend it. So spec wise, in terms of the, the tablet itself, what are we looking at so tabs uh, the um, specs of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 so you got the weight of it is 469 kilograms dimensions 245.2 by 149.4 uh, by 7.5 millimeters so again it's a really nice size out of the box uh, you do get Android 9 Pie but it does come with some really good updates on board resolution is 1200 by 1920 CPU runs on the Exynos 7904. RAM, you get two gigs of RAM. Storage, 32 gigabytes of storage. Battery is the 6150 milliamp hour battery. It's got a eight megapixel rear camera. So again, not bad for taking basic lucky images. Uh, front camera is five megapixels. So again, that's not too bad for taking, uh, for using it for Skype or other video calls. You're not gonna get very massive professional video uh, quality out of it, but it does the job in hand. So my tips or the reason to buy is because it's bold and spacious screen. Again, I mentioned that earlier, it's got that big, lovely screen and it's got that polished Android skin, which again, you can tailor make, you can adapt it, you can change it, you can do what you need to do. Uh, so it is a, in my opinion, it is a really, really good tablet, uh, but you can pick them up in, I found them in a, a variety of different costs. So um, it, in the UK here, we have um, an online shop called very.co.uk. Um, we found it on there, 
139 pound uh, another online shop which i will need to double check i'm not going to mention them yet um but i will if it's right um, i'm going to put it in the show notes at the end of the show but we found that for 129 pound and 97 pence but then we also the lowest one i found was on amazon for 99 pounds and 95 pence amazon 99 pound for a really good tablet that will last you for years it will last you for years so again a look at it for reconditioned you can go on them second hand sites and go and have a look so that was my first one that's the samsung galaxy tab a uh 10.1 inch that made it onto our list there so what is going to be rocking in at number two well don't you worry because i'm going to show you uh, because at number two is the amazon fire hd 10 amazon fire hd 10 now uh, amazon do make kind of i would say some of the best budget tablets around uh, offering decent hardware uh, not too bad prices uh, they do have a, a a big problem i would say it, it is it well only if you think it's a problem uh, there's no google play access so uh, you don't get wide choice of apps that you might be used to um, including things like even like gmail and youtube you don't get that on board either which if you can live with that that's not a problem you can just use the the web browser version of it i suppose um so you still get other apps like netflix uh plex if you use that uh, and facebook then that might be all right for you so the fire hd 10 good size screen plenty of storage which i'll go through the specs for you in just a second uh, and up to 10 hours of battery life on board the device as well which is not bad that would definitely get you through the day uh, so uh, these the the fire tablets do tend to be better build than some of the other tablets i would say because of the from the ones i've used the, the quality of it is not too bad um, and you know that they're just generally going to last you so you can see from the build quality of them the design i'm sure a lot of you have seen some of the fire tablets out there um, let us know again let us know your opinions on them so what are the specifications uh, of the amazon fire 10 hd let's jump in and have a little look because the details are as follows so weight of it is 500 grams dimensions is 262 by 159 by 9.8 millimeters Operating system is Android 5.1, so a bit of a dated one there. Uh, screen size, 10.1 inches. Resolution is at 1200 by 1920. The CPU, it runs on the MediaTek 8173. RAM, you get two gigs of RAM. Storage, you either can have it in 32 or 64 gigs of RAM. Battery is 30, uh, 3830 milliamp hours. So I'm surprised that will get you through 10 hours, actually. Uh, rear camera is 2 megapixels. So uh, my reasons to buy, why would I suggest it? It's large, high-quality screen resolution. Again, you would expect that from the Fire tablet. Uh, and the uh, solid build quality. So you do get, again, I would say it is still a quality tablet so another option for you there and these are the prices that we managed to find them at so again we uh, they're all in roughly the same ballpark give or take a couple of pence on either side uh, so um found two of them literally within a pence of each other but here in the uk we have curry's pc world um have a look if you're not uk based um but found it for 148 pound 99 uh, for 148 pound and 99 pence um on the courage pc will business side of it um but then on the normal side it's just 149 pound save yourself a pence i suppose uh, and then on Amazon, you're picking it up for about £149.99. So it averages out at roughly the same price no matter where you go. Now, during the course of the week, if I do find any of these slightly cheaper, um, I will update the lists as we go through and I'll put notes in the comments and stuff to reflect it to have a little look as well. So um, keep your eye on there. Or if you haven't subscribed to our VIP store, um, I'll touch on that at the end. Um, you can get um, you get notifications and email sent out about deals of the week, so we'll add it into there. So if you haven't, I'll touch on that just at the end. So that was number two. So let's jump in at number three. So there's only five in this list today. So uh, number three uh, is the Huawei MediaPad T3. 
Huawei Media Pad T3. Now, you know you generally with Huawei, in my opinion, you're going to get a, a well-built, uh, well-designed hardware. Um, and it's, you know, you've got that massive screen there, that 10-inch screen. Um, it's got that big, beautiful screen. Internal specs that probably <laughs> won't set the world alight, uh, but it'll handle all of generally the basic tasks that you can kind of throw at it. Um, Huawei's take on Android isn't the best looking, it's not intuitive, um, but you can easily customize the interface. Um, you do get access to all of the, the apps, all of the big name apps that we that you don't get on the on the on the fire. Uh, but um, if you don't need a tablet that's blazing fast, uh, the MediaPad T3 is at a fantastic value. So this is probably one of the lower priced ones that are in our list today. So again, it goes back to saying that point. If you're not really bothered um, about super fast processors, you know, you, you're going to be editing documents and there are editing videos on the go. Um, you just simply having it in the house to go on the internet with, uh, go on Facebook, Instagram, you know, even go on TikTok on these ones now. Then some of these, when you look at them, They've got them big, beautiful displays. Yes, some of them have got quite thick bezels on them, but would you be willing to sacrifice that for the price? Or, you know, So if you want them smaller bezels, then yes, I'd probably say you're going to have to pay more and invest more into a higher-end tablet as such. But you've got one there that would do the job. But specs on it, what are the specs on this particular tablet? So let's have a look. So this is the uh, MediaTek. Uh, uh, sorry, my apologies. Huawei MediaPad at T3. So the weight of it is 460 grams. The dimensions is 229.8 by 159.8 by 8 millimeters. It, the operating system runs on Android 7.0. Screen size 9.6 inches. Resolution 800 by 1280. CPU uh, runs on the Snapdragon 425. RAM, you get them in two options. You can either have it in two or three gigs of RAM. Storage, uh, you either get 16 or 32 gigs of RAM. Battery runs on 4,800 milliamp hour battery. Rear camera, uh, it's got a five megapixel camera. Front camera, it's got the two megapixel front facing camera. So my reasons, why do I think they're good enough to buy it's got large screen with a good resolution it's well designed and it's lightweight so they are my specifications or, or the specifications of the tablet but how much can you pick these up for so amazon you can get this for a hundred and eight pound a hundred and eight pound on amazon you can pick it up from very.co.uk uh, for as little as £99.99. .99. And finally, at Curry's PC World, uh, they do it for £89. So again, yes, if you are UK-based, you will be able to get them up pretty cheaper. Uh, but I would say because Amazon generally do ship worldwide, I will clarify a lot of these um, after the show. Um, I I'm not sure. I think Curry's PC World business might ship worldwide uh, but i will find that out at the end of the show and i'll put it um in the comments i'll pin it to the top of the comments on here so make sure you try and return back a little bit later on so you could get that for as little as 89 pound which is for a tablet is amazing amazing work for a tablet so that was the uh huawei media pad t3 not a bad one now jumping in to uh Number four, number four on our list, um, and this is a this is a little cheeky one. I like this one. This is the Lenovo Tab Four. Now it is only eight inch. Generally, uh, in my opinion, a solid a solid all rounder. So Android Lenovo's Android tablet lineup is generally a, a little confusing because we're, here we're, we're talking about the eight inch version um, of the Tab Four because in fact there are actually four uh, there are four Tab Fours in total so it's a little bit of a muddy kind of water. Um, it's the cheapest of the bunch out of that particular lineup but still offers enough build quality and performance to kind of keep most most of us satisfied. 
At this price, with the specs that you're going to be seeing in the next slide, uh, you're going to be sticking to the basics. You know, nothing major, nothing big. Uh, but the Tab 4 is fine for kind of media consumption. As I mentioned earlier, a little light work, nothing too demanding. Um, and it can give you apparently a whopping, apparently, 12 hours of total battery life um, if you, I'm assuming, if, if you was to use it carefully. You know, you're not going to absolutely hammer it with stuff if you were just to use it kind of little and often. So you can see from the build quality there, you can see actually it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, it, it, it actually doesn't doesn't mind. Um, and I, I personally think it, look, it, it looks all right and it actually looks like it can do the job aesthetically. It doesn't look too bad. It's small. It fits in the hand. It's also really similar um, to... I would say that the fire, I think it's really, really similar um, in terms of the size and the weight. It looks like it fits in your hand really, really perfectly. Um, absolutely, look at that. It, it does it. It looks absolutely great. So what are the specs, though? So we can see that it looks fine. You know, you can see it visually there. It's, it handles games well or basic stuff well. Um, but what? are the specifications of it let's have a little dive in and have a little look so the weight is 310 grams dimensions is 211 by 124 by 8.2 millimeters operating system wise runs on android 7.0 screen size we mentioned that earlier at eight inches Revolu uh, resolution even 800 by 1280 the CPU is the Snapdragon 425. It's got two gigs of RAM. Storage comes with two options. It either comes with the 16 or the 32 gigabyte option. Battery, 4,850 milliamp hours. It's got that rear camera at five megapixels and the front camera at two megapixels. So my reasons uh, to, to buy them. So I would say it's excellent value for money and it's got that impressive battery life on there now let's have a look at some of the prices on there and what i managed to find so again at the end of the show um all of the links i believe they are missing from the show notes at the time of being live now so at the end of the show i will update them with all the links so you can go and check them out for yourself if you want to check out for shipping and all that kind of stuff uh, but I will add them in. Uh, so we managed to find them uh, from a, a website called Laptops Direct. Um, they got that for £134.97. Not bad. Amazon, you're going to pay slightly more on it there. Uh, you managed to get it for uh, £174.57. So which, it, which is not too bad. Which is not too bad. Uh, and we did find another one, but it was, again, it was UK based um, at Curry's PC World Business uh, for £134.97. So there are a couple of options. Um, again, it is still within that £200 price point. It does all the tasks. Perhaps I would probably say it's the not the better one out of all of them i would say so far for me personally i would say the samsung is kind of winning that uh, i don't know what your opinion is of it um but again um, we'll uh, we'll come to your comments and your questions at the end of this one uh let's jump in though let's jump in uh, that was number four we're going to jump into our final one in the list at number five at number five again as as i mentioned earlier they're not in they're not in any particular order. They're not from one to whatever. Uh, but at number five is the dun, 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 is the Huawei MediaPad M3 Lite. So uh, mentioned earlier, the Huawei MediaPad T3. We mentioned that earlier on. Uh, the M3 variant gives you better specs for a slightly bit more money. So it depends what matters kind of to you the most. So um, you get the same quality craftsmanship, the same slight um, weird. Uh, Huawei software that's still on board there uh, you get slightly better processor and camera on this one improved RAM and storage options um, and a couple of other more features uh, the 8 inch model um, is smaller there is a 10 inch option as well uh, which you can check out if, you, if you're particularly interested in it uh, but the resolution does in my opinion from what I've seen and from what I've read um, it does make it a little bit sharper uh, and the tablet does come in it like I said earlier on it comes in them couple of uh, screen size choices so looking at it and the build quality from there 
you can see it is slightly thicker uh, than for my kind of personal taking. It's got those rounded edges, very similar to what we've seen in the old iPads. Um, it is again, with Huawei, you do generally, in my opinion, you do generally get some really good build qualities, um, even in the, on the smartphone side of it. Uh, you do get some really good quality stuff um, in terms of the build, the way it looks. But again, their only downside is the OS, is the Huawei OS. That is that is it, in my opinion. But um, again, it's in that price point. It's in that £200 mark. You can see the build. It looks nice. Would this be a tablet for you? This is the last one on our list. You've seen them all now. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. Uh, but what are the specifications of the uh, Huawei MediaPad M3 Lite. Let's jump in and have a little look. So, weight of it is 310 grams. So even though it looked thicker, it's obviously slightly lighter. Dimensions is 213.3 by 123.3 by 7.5 millimeters. That's a mouthful. Uh, operating system is Android 7.0. Screen size is eight inches on the model that we've been showing. Uh, resolution, you're looking at 1200 by 1920. The CPU is the Snapdragon 435. Comes in a couple of RAM options. You can either get it in three or four gigs of RAM. Storage, you can either get it in 16 or 64 gigs of RAM. Battery, 4,800 milliamp hours. You've got the rear camera of eight megapixel and the front camera of eight megapixel as well. My reasons to buy this, why do I think it's a good buy? Uh, solid specs and performance and decent cameras for a budget tablet. So some really good, uh, some really good facts there, some really good bits of information. Would it be one for you? Is it, would this tickle your fancy, you know? Uh, price wise, Amazon, you can pick it up for £159.99. Uh, and there was a, a couple of other UK-based ones, um, but again, they were they were higher than that one. That is the cheapest, one hundred and fifty-nine ninety-nine from Amazon. So I will put the links in the descriptions. Uh, I will update it after the show. So they are our five uh, budget tablets. You know, out of those five, I want to know from you, the audience, which one would you choose out of there? So you had the first one, which was the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. The second one was the Amazon Fire HD 10. Uh, the third one was the Huawei MediaPad T3. Uh, the fourth one was the uh, Lenovo uh, Tab 4. And the fifth one was Huawei MediaPad M3 Lite. So do any of them tickle your fancy? Would you buy some of these perhaps for your children or the family members, elderly people, you know, or would you buy it for them? If I was to personally choose out of that list, um, it would be Samsung. Um, I'm a bit of a Samsung fan. I know there's a Mac on the table here, but that's for work. Um, but I do prefer Samsung products over that. Um, but what we're going to do, let's jump into the comments uh, and see kind of what you guys have been saying amongst yourselves. So let's have a little look. So, oh, my word, I've missed loads here. Uh, so let's jump in. Um, uh, let's have a look. So Sadiq still in there. Good evening to you, buddy. Um, the build quality looks decent. I've got to say a lot of them, the build quality does look all right. Uh, Jack Keeble, welcome back to you. Sorry, I must have missed you out in the earlier part of the show. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Um, so Gary, your son's got a Fire tablet. Personally, not a fan, but he likes it. And you've managed to get YouTube app on it and the battery life is okay. How did you get the YouTube app on it? Let me know. Um, what, was that through an update? Was that through a change? Um, let us know in the comments, Gary, let us know. Right, looking at Sadiq's comment, the, the bezels on the Fire tablets are horrendous. Yes, they are, they are, they're like a chunk, they're huge. Um, but it's, you know, it does, would that bother you? Is that something that you can ignore? You know, it, we, it's, every, you know, everyone's completely different, aren't they? Everyone's completely different. Um, now, Gary, which one would be your cup of tea on that one? Um, let me know. Uh, Sadiq, question. The stores you're listing, uh, do they ship worldwide? Some of us live outside the UK. Um, so I mentioned it earlier on. Some of them are UK based. Some of them are um, places like Amazon, which should ship internationally. Um, but at the end of the show, um, I will go through the show notes. Um, I'll go back through the links and I'll publish them in there. And I'll pop a comment on the video as well. So I'll, try, I'll probably say check back in the morning. Um, and I'll have them all on there. But if you're watching this on the replay, um, they should already be in there. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll make sure I do that for you. Uh, let's have a look. Quite hefty. The, the Huawei media pad. Yes. It, um, let's have a look. Um, what else are we seeing here? So, uh, Gary, you still prefer the first Huawei media pad. Oh, what the uh, the T3, the 10 inch. It does look good. That one. I do like that one. And uh, Sadiq there. The Samsung is the undefeated champion here, man. No contest. It is. In my opinion, Samsung just wins. Um, but saying that, though, I, you know, iPads do have, I, I don't know, they've got something. They've, they've got something there which I think it's more the look and I think the way the OS, I, pref I do like the OS and how it flows and gestures and stuff. But then on the Android side of it, I do like the flexibility that you can do so much more on an Android tablet than you can um, on an iPad. Not at the moment because you can... <laughs> I'm trying to get, you can get Photoshop for iPad now, but you can't get it on Android. So I'm having to use it on an iPad if I want to do any Photoshopping, but you can't get it um, on an Android tablet, which is a bit annoying at the minute. Um, don't worry, we're not, it's not sponsored by Fanta. Don't worry. But, uh, so there are five, you know, if, if you was to walk away with one or perhaps is there another one that, um, that should have been on the list um if you're live now in the chat get it in there uh let us know which should should there have been another contender in that list let us know get them in the comments box below as well or if you're watching it on the replay get it in the comments let us know your opinion on it as well because this show is all about you as the audience there as well so gary going back onto your comment i've just seen it pop up there as well uh, you had to ring amazon and they did a step-by-step -step and then operated the, the tablet from there and ah so the remote desktop into your tablet and done it that way oh there you go so if you've got a fire tablet out there um ring amazon and they'll take you through step-by-step -step, remote into it and do it perfect great option there thanks for the the, the heads up gary he thanks for the heads up so i did mention last week that the competition is still live it is still going and someone will have the chance to win themselves the f20 smartwatch courtesy of our friends at uh, foreverstore.co so all you would need to do in order for you to be in with a chance to win so if you are watching this now uh on if you're watching this now on the replay there will be a link in the description or if even if you're watching this live there should be something in the description there already um or you can head over to mmbtechtv.co.uk um you would need to go to our website where is it there it is um on the home page so when you go onto the home page you need to scroll down uh there it is uh you'll see where it says it's competition time give that a little click and then it'll take you through onto our competition page. And there are a bunch of ways you can answer. Or well, the more times you do a task, the more times you'll get entered in. So I think one of them will be subscribe to us. One will be to follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, that kind of stuff. Uh, but you'll see this is the watch itself. It's got a full, big, beautiful display. Not what you tend to find is in a lot of smart watches now, especially round ones, that they still have the square LCD panel on the inside. And they claim that it's a... Um, you know, it's a, it's a full screen display and it's, it's not. Whereas this is actually a full kind of touch display. It's, it's a rounded one. Uh, so you get heart rate monitoring, full retina display, uh, blood oxygen measuring, health and activity tracking, sedentary reminders, calorie consumption, sleep monitoring, multi-sports modes, calls and notification reminders. Oh, catch me breath. Incredible battery life, uh, app support, and it's IP68 uh, certified there as well. So if you want your chance to win, Head over to the website mmbtechtv.co.uk and you could be in with your chance to win. So good luck to you. Good luck. Uh, now, um, some of you may know, some of you may not uh, know, but today uh, marks 15 years since the first video went onto YouTube. And w YouTube has changed how we consume content in so many ways now there can be nights when i don't even watch the tv i can just let youtube's algorithm suggest content and publish it to me in front of my face and i can sit there and watch content all night um you know without youtube we won't be able to do things like this and i've actually got this is the original video so it does come with sound um so i am gonna unmute it um so this is the first video that was ever published on uh, on YouTube. The uh, elephants. Um, cool.
cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. So there you go. That was the first ever video published onto YouTube, and look from 15 years ago to where the platform is now is a significant change um and you know i just i just can't believe where it's gone from to to where it is today so 15 years today uh, it marks that there so thank you youtube thank you to you thank you um you know did any, how long have you guys been watching youtube for let us know let us know because i know now in terms of children and stuff it's it's huge now isn't it it's, you know there's not a day go by sometimes where some kids don't consume some sort of youtube content uh, and it just seems to be a part of our daily lives now especially here in lockdown in the uk you know people have got pe lessons on in the morning you know done all on youtube and stuff it's absolutely crazy um and and, and that and that's the way that we can do it now so um so yeah, so 15 years since all that was done. Um, so I think I believe uh, was it yesterday? Oh, what day is it today? Uh, no, my apologies. I think I think it was yesterday. Yesterday or today? Well, it, either way, it's uh, 15 years uh, since it happens, and that was the the first ever video. So there we are. Uh, but just to give you a little bit of heads up, now in terms of uh, reviews and and stuff that's ha going to be happening on the show. Um, I've now I've been checking the tracking on the watch. Uh, the watch is in I think it's in Germany now. We're waiting for it to come to here, so obviously it's coming a long way. Um, but the company that have sent me them, which is foreverstore.co, their partner store, eardots.co, um, who I've done some earbud clones with, which are very good by the way. They're still my go-to, um, which I keep uh, on my little dock at night or if I'm going out traveling. Uh, I do use them. Their link's in the description as well. So if you want to check some of their other products out, you can. Uh, but they contacted me um, and said, would you like uh, to review a particular um, a particular set of earbuds uh, or, you know, audio? And I was like, yeah. Uh, so they are going to be sending me uh, their uh, it's the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus but it's their cloned version edition of it. So their clones that they do, they're really, really good. Like especially the audio, um, they are really, really good. And they've said they're going to send them to review, and they've been sent out today. So again, so I'll be tracking that, and hopefully I'll know a bit more. And of course, it's understandable at the moment. International mail is taking quite a while because of what's happening. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly which one it is. I'm going to I'll just head over to their website now. Let's have a look. Um, so you need to head over. If you want to go there yourself, it's eardots.co. Uh, this is their main page. Now, if you've never heard of eardots before, they do this crazy warranty where if um, it comes as part of the price um, but if you was to break damage lose them you get a replacement you know there is a bit there is a big whole page on it go and have a read um, but no other website as far as I'm aware does that um, which which is good um, we've still got the ear dots pro coming they are still on the way to us uh, which are these ones here but these are the ear, uh, ear dots buds plus so these are the ones that they're going to be sending us now they released the um the galaxy buds plus alongside the samsung s20 but these are their updated version and the i'm very i mean i've got samsung galaxy buds anyway but i'm very intrigued to see how they look how they perform because the the uh uh, the air i'm losing my mind tonight the airpods that i've got from um adots.co um the sound's really good on it the bass is really good in my opinion it's the better one out of the ones that i've seen on the show so it'd be quite interesting to see if, if their equivalent of this is really really good so you can see the look not too bad but the question will be is will they perform up to the task you know so i'm looking forward to, if we get them i'll give you a quick reveal on the show uh, and then i'll film the actual proper unboxing and stuff like that but i'll bring them into the show so we can see it live on air here first um but they come in a variety of colors as well so it looks like a little little something for everybody so what colors did they come in so they come in black blue and white 
couple of nice little colours there. Uh, and they're £60.77. These do ship, uh, I think it's free shipping worldwide as well. Um, and their products are really, really good. Um, so if you've not seen them before, foreverstore.co, go and have a look. Um, and So we've got those uh, coming up on the show as well. And um, we touched on it in last week's show that we've got... Um, a tech youtube tech video coming up we have yes we've got a collaboration so adding on to that list we've got two more that are adding on to the list as well um so i will go through probably next week will be finalized as to what or who's going to be in it who's going to be involved i'm just waiting for the the last couple of little bits myself um but uh two of the main ones that i kind of personally like to get on with and we talk quite a bit on twitter and i jump onto their live streams and they jump into mine um so uh you've got uh mike's unboxing reviews and how to's they're going to be on there their links are in the description uh go and head over mike does his live streams on a saturday at nine um so if i'm not on don't go when I, if I'm on, don't go anywhere. I'm not asking you to go away. Um, but if but if I'm not on, I would say jump over there and go and have a look. Uh, and then you've got uh, Kev from ClickTech UK as well. Uh, he's going to be jumping on the show alongside with a few others. And we're going to be talking about things, um, our kind of favourite tech for 2020 so far. So, um, Fanta. Uh, so it's, um, again got some really really good content coming up in the next few weeks while we're here so someone asked us a question on um someone asked us a question i think it was on it, it, one of our platforms can't remember but it came through last minute uh, asking about thoughts and smart bands versus smart watches um i'm a huge fan of smart watches i think smart bands are fine i think i'm assuming if you're talking about things like the thin kind of ones they're fine if you're just looking for basic stuff you know you don't get nothing else really major on them uh, but smart watches there are so many more options there are so many more things you can get out of them so many more things you can do um there is there's just so in my opinion uh, to answer your question um i'll probably say smart watches are the biggest winner out of the two that is my personal opinion um and I thought I couldn't leave you without answering your question. So I had to answer it. I had to answer it. Uh, but uh, what I want to do is jump into the comments and just see how we're all doing. Because, again, the show is simply all about you guys, isn't it? You know, it's all about you. You're the ones that spend your night coming here talking to me. Uh, so let's jump in back into them comments again. Uh, so, Sadiq, you like the Lenovo uh, Yoga. Um, I did see it. I think I haven't Lenovo got one that I've got a projector built into the top. Did I... Oh, am I making that up somewhere? Has that been made up somewhere? Um, but I think yeah, I think it's got a projector on it somewhere. Um, a huge milestone achievement for YouTube. Yes. Um, if they get a plaque, they can give it to me. Well, I'll have it, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's a massive milestone for them. And it has, indeed, as I mentioned earlier, it's come out a massive way. Uh, you, so you've just checked them out for me. You've just checked... Ah, I'm assuming, Sadiq, there, you've checked out them, them out for yourself. Yeah, no, the, the build quite on them... It, with regards to the ear dots products they are really good so there is a link on there uh have a look um there might be something on there that suits you um we have reviewed a couple of their products here on the show um go that they are in there and go and have a look um but yeah the, 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 some of the stuff that they do is phenomenal it's really really good so uh gary you've never seen uh, in person or owned a pair of pods um but is this the way headphones are going i, I probably say yes now they're, they're trying to they're going smaller and thinner, aren't they, in the ears and all that kind of stuff. But that's kind of, in my opinion, where it's personally tracking off to now. Wearing the big headphones, I think, will still be there. Uh, but I think it's all about discretion, discreet. Uh, I think and Apple set the way for that in terms of having uh, the AirPods and stuff. I think that's where they've left off now. Um, but, yeah, so that that's my opinion on it. That is my opinion on it. So in the next few videos, what we've got coming up, I mentioned earlier on about the YouTube tech one, we've got some of the best edit editing apps for free. You've got the uh, AirPods Pros. Uh, we're chasing that up to see where they are. The F20 smartwatch. We've got the um, uh, we've got the uh, AirDots Pl AirDots Plus. Uh, that's being reviewed on the show as well, amongst a couple of other things uh, that are in there as well. Uh, but of course, you guys get to have your say on the show or what we do in terms of our content and what we want to produce on our live shows. So if you want to be involved in the show, 
if you're watching this on the replay, what do you want us to talk about on the show? What do you want us to bring up and discuss? You know, what kind of information do you want provided to you? Um, so all you need to do, as always, is get your comments in the box below, or if you're watching this live now, get them in the chat box and get them in there. And of course, we can look at it. And of course, like just like last week, someone in like you know last minute uh, at the end of the video, they said, "Oh, can you do uh, the five best budget?" Um, tablets and then bang here we are this week we've give you the five uh, best budget tablets that are out there at the moment in my opinion there are still quite a few uh, but these are the, the relatively decent ones and um, so whatever you want to see on the show get them in the comments or as i mentioned earlier on you know um you can have your say just by simply heading over uh, i'll show you again so you can just simply head over to our website go on the contact me tab at the top of the website and you can have your say when you scroll to the bottom and you can get your comments or submit your questions through to the show on there. So you can get them in there. So loads of loads of ways for you to get involved, loads of ways. Um, so I want to say, first of all, a huge thank you to everyone that's been involved in the show tonight. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Sadiq, who's been our moderator uh, for this evening's show. Thank you very much to you. Um, but of course, we are here every week to keep updated with everything. Make sure you follow us on, on of course, subscribe on here as well. And if you're watching it, give it a like as well. Um, but make sure you follow us on all the social media platforms from Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We generally live on Instagram most of the time. I mentioned it in last week's show. Um, we're waiting until if, if we can get the YouTube stories, you know, where, where instead of doing it on uh, Instagram, but that's why we're there. Uh, so you can find us, just look for MB Tech TV um, and you'll pick us up on there. That's where generally where we release all of our information just on there. So go and head over. Uh, but thank you very much to each and every one of you for joining in. Thank you uh, for being involved, talking in the show, and of course, speaking to us on our social media platforms. But make sure you check it. You can check out the uh, eight great reasons for Microsoft Teams video that we released the other day. Uh, I will link that as well. So go and have a look. Uh, but most importantly, have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you all soon. From me, Ryan, thanks a lot, everybody. All the best, and good night. <laughs>